Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time once again for your weekly wrap up where we look at what we did last week and what's coming up this week on the channel. All things subject to change, of course. And on Saturday, we finally uh, got the next leg of my free over the air TV series done. I hoisted up an antenna on my amateur radio tripod and I was able to bring in broadcasts from all of my local broadcasters for free over the air. And that's because they've all moved to this single tower to broadcast the new ATSC 3 signals to area homes. And it works quite well, but there's a lot of caveats that go with this new technology, like with everything. So you can check out that video. I got a lot of feedback on my antenna choice, so I think I might do a comparison of a couple of different antennas and see how they work here. And we're going to keep this project going because I really want to make this over-the-air TV antenna thing, whichever antenna I choose, a permanent fixture on my home. And because I'm trying to get some antennas up for my amateur radio hobby, I'm going to try to combine two of those interests into a single project to get all the antennas up and hopefully not interfering with each other. Uh, we also took a look at the Google Pixel 6a, an unboxing at least, that I did on the Extras channel. There'll be more to come on that. And I reviewed the Lenovo ThinkPad Carbon X1 Gen 10. This is what I call an executive laptop. And although it's not as attractive to enthusiasts because it does have some thermal issues and whatnot, it is incredibly lightweight, only about two and a half pounds, yet it has a 14 inch display and a pretty nicely powered Intel chip if you don't push it too hard. And the X1 Carbon review was an interesting one for me because I like to evaluate products based on who the company is marketing the product to and whether or not the marketing claims serve that audience. And sometimes the audience for a product or the target market for a product is in conflict with the audience on a YouTube channel like this, which mostly has tech enthusiasts following it. And so you have to tread carefully when you're looking at something like this, because this laptop is perfectly fine for what an executive might want. A nice large 14 inch display, incredibly lightweight and relatively powerful in burstier situations when you're doing a spreadsheet or a presentation or something that you might do in business. But an enthusiast who's going to be pushing the hardware all day long will be very disappointed with it because it can't maintain its performance due to its thermal design and therein lies the challenge so what i did here is approached it from the standpoint of does it meet the target audience the answer to that question is largely yes if you want something thin and light with a 14 inch display you can't get much better than this even though it's going to cost you a bit but for the enthusiast it clearly doesn't meet that expectation and we pointed those things out the one area that i think was not so great about this laptop across all of its different attributes was the fact that the battery life out of these 12th generation Intel chips isn't delivering, I think, what a lot of people expected just yet. So this one really isn't much of a kind of an upgrade over the prior edition, but I think is still a very good executive laptop, although not a good one for the enthusiast crowd out there. Also last week, I did a whatnot cost of shipping giveaway. I've been having a lot of fun on this whatnot platform. So much that I think I'm gonna do a video about it because it is uh, one of these live sales things that we're seeing kind of popping up as a trend. And this is kind of like the live streaming version of eBay. And to my surprise, there are active auctions going on constantly. And a lot of the stuff that's for sale, especially the retro game stuff, is selling at, at or near market prices, even if there's only like a handful of people in the stream, it's pretty wild. And I've been selling a whole bunch of stuff that I've got out back in my basement here that I've been meaning to get rid of for uh, quite a while now. So in the trunk of my car right now is a bunch of stuff that we did on a cost of shipping giveaway, along with other things that I sold on other streams that I did over the weekend. Uh, so definitely check it out. I'll do a video about whatnot in the near future because I think it's a really interesting platform, especially if you're a retro game collector right now. And I think everyone who participated in our Sunday cost of shipping giveaway stream had a great time. I know everyone stuck around for the duration, which was awesome. And these are not going to be on YouTube because the sales system on whatnot is kind of tied into how the streaming works. So if you haven't signed up yet, go to lon.tv slash whatnot. And when you use my affiliate link there, you get a $15 credit that can be used on any seller's auction on the site. 
And if you're a retro game fan, you're going to get hooked on this really quickly, I think. There's a lot of retro game sellers on there. But there's other collectibles that are there, and we're starting to see some electronics on there now, too. I'm going to be doing more of these in the near future. Uh, mostly of these will be done over the weekend, so I have time to pack up everything and ship it out. I ran out of packing supplies this weekend, filling up the trunk of my car here with all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So we will uh, probably do one, maybe not next week, but the week after. But if you sign up on my store alert email at lon.tv slash store alert, that is where I'll announce anytime I'm doing one of these streams to sell or give away stuff. So be on the lookout for that, and I'll talk more about whatnot in an upcoming video. Now, this week, we've got a lot of fun stuff planned. I am taking a road trip tomorrow up to the headquarters for the National Association of Amateur Radio here in the U.S., otherwise known as ARRL. They are located, I kid you not, a half an hour away from me here in Connecticut. So we're going to get a full tour of the facility. We're going to learn about amateur radio and why, if you're into technology, it's something you might want to consider getting into because it's really developing uh, quite rapidly again because of all of the advances in how computers can interact with radios now. You need far less equipment to get started. There's a lot of fun innovation happening within this community, and it's something that I am really getting hooked on, and I want to share that love with you uh, as I continue my journey into figuring out all this amateur radio stuff. And we're going to see some really cool things up there, I think, so be on the lookout for that video later in the week. I also uh, finished up my review of the Eufy SoloCam S40. This is one of these security cameras that has a solar panel on it, and it's been working quite well out in my yard, and you can see more about it in the full review uh, coming up later this week. I shot it last week, but the timing didn't work for publication just yet. What's neat about it is that I didn't charge it when I got it, and I'm now almost 100% just from the sun charging it during the day. So if you put it in the right spot, I think it's going to be pretty good. And we're going to do my review of the uh, Pixel 6a. I've been playing around with it all weekend, and I think we're just about ready to do the review of it. So I'm going to be working on shooting that and finishing up just a few more evaluative things before uh, that one's wrapped up. But it's a nice phone for the target market, and I think we're going to have a little bit of a discussion about that target market versus enthusiast expectation in the course of that review. And we're almost at the end of the month, and that means we'll be doing our monthly sponsored video about Plex and its many features. And this month, I thought I would look at how you might manage audiobooks inside of Plex's music library feature. So stay tuned for that. That topic might get bumped if there's some new feature that they roll out between now and the end of the month, but I don't think we'll see anything new before then. So be on the lookout for that video. And this week's wrap-up, as always, is being brought to you by all of you. I want to thank some super chatters and super thankers. They include Linnean, Nystead, Yulan Thomas, Tech Time with Eric, Hunter Brooks, and Handquake. And we don't have any new members this week, but your name could be here if you sign up at lon.tv support. And this is where you can support the channel through my donor box page, which is the best way to do it. But we also support the YouTube membership program, Floatplane, and Patreon. And I want to thank everyone who participated this week and everyone who participates on an ongoing basis and all of you who watch on a regular basis too because all of those things equal channel growth. We have a bunch of other places you can follow me on including my Amazon page where you can watch most of my product reviews ad free. And we have a bunch of ways to engage with the channel including my two email lists. One is weekly, the lon.tv slash email link there. And then lon.tv slash digest is my daily email that has my blog posts and information about my new videos and everything else. We also have the Facebook group, the Discord, and the Telegram if you want to connect with me and other viewers. And then, of course, we've got the store alert email, which you can find at lon.tv slash store alert. And that'll let you know anytime I add something to the lon.tv slash store page. And I'm still going to be selling things directly on there because there are some things that sell well there versus on a platform like Whatnot. So the store is not going away, but I've got a lot of stuff that uh, I think will actually work better on Whatnot, both for viewers and for me, because I can show it off and give you a little video review of it and give you uh, answers to questions in real time. So we're going to be doing a little bit of both uh, for the foreseeable future here. And that is going to do it for this week's weekly wrap-up. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to keep 
kind of fleshing out this new format to see how it works, but I want to give you the week in review, talk about what I was thinking about when I was putting those videos together, and then talk about what's coming in the week ahead. It looks like this is doing okay. It's not one of my blockbuster videos. I wasn't expecting it to be, but we are getting some good traffic and feedback on it, so I'm going to keep refining this a bit and see if it works out on the long term here. And that's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Brian Parker, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Baby Metal Fox God, Tom Albrecht, Amda Brown, Matt Zagaya, and Tech Time with Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.